Hey guys, welcome to a video all about low point. I'm gonna share a lot of information here you can use, you can apply to make your game better. So first of all, let's just talk about what an intent should be in a golf swing. Many golfers don't know if they should hit the ball and the ground at the same time, or maybe they should hit the ground, then the ball, or maybe they should hit the ball and then the ground. Well, I'm here to tell you the best players in the world they're hitting the ball first and they're hitting the ground second. The poorest players would do the opposite. They would hit the ground the most behind the ball and then hit the ball. Now, one way we can measure this is we can measure it by what we call the low point. So if you were to swing the golf club on a regular arc, at some point there's going to be a bottom. Now, this isn't where the club touches the ground because even when the club touches the ground, it may continue to descend into the ground. So the lowest point is literally that when the golf club is at its lowest point, not where the golf club touches the ground. So if I were to take a golf ball, I'm going to use this multicolored one, and I were to place it here, we could use this ruler, and we could actually look at where the lowest point of the golf swing was. Now here's the first part that I'm going to put out there is, not everybody needs the same low point. Now I'm going to make a small assumption, let's say that every divot you take is uniform, in that if I take this divot here, my makeshift divot, and if I were going to take one of my makeshift divots, let's make the assumption that the lowest point is the middle of the divot, so the depth of the divot is uniform. I think that would be a fair assumption. Now, if you use TrackMan when you practice, low point is read with a letter A or a letter B, meaning that the bottom of the swing is ahead of the ball or behind the ball and it's measured in inches. Now, the first myth that I'm going to break is just because the low point is ahead of the ball doesn't mean that you haven't fatted the ball. You can still hit the ground behind the ball, even if your low point is ahead of the ball, and that can come down to the depth and the length of the divots that you take. What a cramp. So going back to my makeshift divots, here are two different divots. One would be a player who takes really big divots, and one may be the golfer who just skims the ball off the turf. Now, if we look down on the ground here, let me say I put that low point of the divot in line with the ball. So as you read this on TrackMan, the low point would be zero. But you can see that that big divot has actually fatted this ball by around three inches. And the guy with a small divot has fatted this ball by about two inches. So what does this mean? If you're a small divot player, you might find that to hit the ball first and the ground second... Even if we have a low point that is two inches ahead of the ball, we can still see that we're touching the ground and the ball at the same time. So it's only when the small divot player gets to about two and a half inches ahead of the ball, pretty close to what the LPGA average would be, that a small divot player would be hitting the ball first and the ground second. They would not be fatting the ball if they take a very small divot at that depth. Now you take this big divot player and he also moves that two and a half inches ahead of the ball, but he's still fatting the ball. This player's really got to move that divot nearer to four inches ahead of the ball in line of what the PGA Tour average would be to hit that ball first, ground second. So first one, the low point just being ahead of the ball does not mean that you haven't fatted it. And two, the length of your divot, the depth of your divot is really going to impact how far you need to move that low point ahead of the ball. Showing you the data in a different way, these are varying levels of hitting the ground behind the ball. Using a ruler, this shot here has just hit the ground slightly behind the ball. And it actually has a low point about three inches ahead of the ball, but it's still slightly fat. Now this shot has a low point about three and a half inches ahead of the ball, and it's just ball first, ground second. And then if we take this final one, the low point of this divot is around five and a half inches ahead of the ball, and that'd be the cleanest strike. Now some of these numbers may scare you, but if you want some facts, so if we would take some of the data from the PGA Tour, Ryan Moore would have a low point that's three inches ahead of the ball. Colsart would have a low point that's four inches ahead of the ball. And then if we go to the extreme, Cameron Champ has a low point that's around 10 inches ahead of the ball on a six iron. And Jonathan Vegas would have a low point that's 12 inches ahead of the ball. That's scary for most people to, to take in. Now, this might just be on one particular shot, but that's the data that TrackMan supplied, which you can go find when you go look inside shot analysis on TrackMan. One, if you're just doing it out on a grass range, have a look at where your divot starts, how long the divot is, and where the midpoint of the divot is. It's going to give you a good estimation of where your low point is. If you're using GC Quad or GC Free, well, unfortunately, that doesn't have low point location. But as a general rule, and I know it's not completely accurate, but it's best with the equipment that you have at the time, roughly for every degree you hit down, the low point is one inch further forward. Not completely accurate, I'll stand by that, but the correlation is pretty close. So usable data, depending on how big your divot is, the bigger the divot, the longer the divot, the deeper the divot, the more you need to move your low point ahead of the ball. If you've got that friend who just seems to skim it off the turf, they can generally get away with not having the low point as far forward. Now the next myth that I want to, to shatter today. This is my makeshift bunker divot. I don't know if we call it a divot, but the explosion of sand. This is about eight inches long, and I don't think that's unrealistic for what you would take out of a bunker when you skim that sand out. So getting rid of the mats once again, 
I asked a question on my Instagram, where is a low point in a bunker shot? Now, commonly people are told you want to hit about two inches, one and a half inches behind the ball in a bunker. So if I put this in at that one and a half inches behind the ball, what do we notice about the low point? It's ahead of the ball. Most people feel they're trying to hit the ground behind the ball and the low point is too far back and then they get this problem where the golf club comes down, they hit the sand and they hit the top of the ball and the ball just bounces into the lip. They get top shots, heavy shots out of the bunker. Most golfers will do better with the intent of hitting down on the ball and moving the low point ahead of the ball in the bunker. You're still going to hit the sand behind the ball but the low point is ahead of the ball. So hopefully after this video, you've got a better understanding of low point. And if you do, you take this information, you go apply it, you know, now you go play a bunker shot, you're trying to hit the ground before the ball, but your low point is actually ahead of the ball. And if you're somebody who takes a big divot, you need to shift that low point and have a more aggressive angle of attack into the ground because that's going to correlate to a low point more forward. And if you're somebody who skims the ball, well, you're quite lucky in a way because you don't need to shift that low point forward, but we still intend that low point to be ahead of the ball. If you're a golf coach, make yourself some fake divots. Great way to explain low point to your students. And if you have these divot boards, really experiment in trying to hit the ground the most ahead. Poorest golfers hitting back here, better players hitting over here. If you've learned something, share it in the comments and let me know how the experience is 